Good evening. We are uh, here in Nashville. As you can tell, we're not in a hotel right now. We're at our friends uh, Sarah and Brad and Augusta Gavigan's house here in the Gulch neighborhood of, uh, of Nashville. Just absolutely beautiful house, beautiful neighborhood. Um, Sarah uh, worked with Joanne years and years and years ago. They were both in the um, music video and uh, advertising um, you know, commercial business. And uh, then Sarah and I met up uh, about nine years ago when Sarah was in the um, music licensing business. And she and her family moved here a few years ago. Um, they've, just, they've put down pretty amazing roots here in Nashville. And um, there are literally 20 people having dinner in the next room. We've had a really great time here. It's really nice to go into someone's house as opposed to being in a hotel or in a restaurant. It's just, you really feel the heart of people. Um, Sarah and her husband, Brad, have been very supportive um, throughout Pablo's treatment. Um, they've been very supportive of, uh, of our family and of the Pablo Foundation uh, since Pablo passed away. And uh, this is an example of our friends um, opening their hearts and opening their homes to us um, to make us feel welcome when we're all so far away from home. Um, this uh, pine cone really reminds me of Pablo. Uh, it's a, I'm assuming this belongs to their daughter, Augusta. Um, Pablo had a pine cone like this. We went up uh, riding uh, in the uh, San Gabriel Mountains one day. Uh, me and Pablo and Joanne, we drove up to the Clear Creek uh, Ranger Station, which is 10 miles above Pasadena, and um, and then we rode around up there, um, and Pablo snagged a pine cone like this, and we have it in our house, on our mantle, and it's just, we're going through so much of them. Um, of course, it's nighttime, and uh, it's day 13 of Pablo Across America 2011, and being that it's nighttime, um, this is the time when we dedicate our resting hours to a child who has um, gone through cancer treatment who has uh, fought this disease, and like my son Pablo, um, has not made it. And so our dedication tonight goes out to a girl named Colleen Moore, who was diagnosed with osteosarcoma um, at eight years old, which was in September of 2007. Um, she passed away on June 8th, 2008. So I'm gonna say that again, she was eight years old, in September of 07, she passed away on June 8 of 2008. That is, uh, it's uh, too close for comfort for me. Pablo was diagnosed on my birthday, May 17, 2008. This little girl was already going through osteosarcoma treatment at that time. She passed away basically three weeks after Pablo was was diagnosed, so probably right when he started treatment. Um, she was treated at UNC MD Anderson in Houston, which is a hospital we've been to, uh, and Duke University. Um, her journey inspired uh, a movement, much like Pablo's. Um, her family has started an organization called Striving for More that gives families in the, in the North Carolina region emotional support during pediatric cancer treatment. and. Um, I, I, um, I am uh, taken aback by the um, Striving for More organization. I'm taken aback by any parents, any community that would, in the face of losing their child, um, turn their hearts and turn their physical efforts to helping people in the exact same space that they just came from, where they endured pain and, and indeed lost their child. Um, sometimes I don't know why we do what we do, uh, Joanne and I. Sometimes uh, you, you, won't, you won't misunderstand me if I say that it's very, very difficult for Joanne and I to do what we do with the Pablo Foundation. It's emotionally and psychologically crippling for us sometimes. When I see what the Moore family has done with their organization, where they have turned 
back into the, the very environment that has taken their daughter's life, I realized that there are people in this world who do things that go far beyond what goes on between the two ears of a human being. They do things that are led by their hearts. And I will tell you one thing that I know for certain. The thing that's sitting here in between my ears is good for remembering my email password and for the kind of coffee order I want in the morning. It's not good for much else. Um, when I am led by my heart, that is when I'm capable of doing things that, um, that would, in fact, put me back into a pediatric cancer uh, clinic or, or hospital to help other people. And uh, if you look at me in this video, if you look at my wife, if you look at the Moore family, you don't have to, you don't have to misunderstand anything. We have no choice. That's the simple answer to any question you could ask that is uh, along the lines of how can they, how do they, how, how would they, how should they. We have no choice but to help other people because other people helped us during our time of need and we have chosen to turn our hearts back out into the world. So Colleen Moore, tonight we dedicate our resting hours to you. We honor your life, we honor your cancer treatment, and we honor your family, and we honor the Striving for More Foundation, uh, which is helping uh, kids and their families who are in cancer treatment. Such an important thing. We are with you. And I understand why you do what you do. And I look forward to meeting you someday. And I think we'll meet someday soon. Um, and we can uh, talk about why, why we are on this path and how it's going.